Hi guys, and welcome to Introducing the Social Sciences B. My name is Dr Philip Wads, and I'll be your unit coordinator for this semester. In this introductory video, I'm going to briefly outline what this unit is all about. This unit is a companion unit to Introducing the Social Sciences A, which you all should have completed last semester. As such, much of the content in this unit draws on knowledge that you developed over, your, over the course of your studies last semester. You'll be asked to question the taken for granted and start to think like a social scientist. And I think that's what makes this unit particularly interesting and this subject matter relevant to your lives. Throughout this semester, we have set up two strands that build on the making live strands that you completed in so introducing the social sciences A, the connecting live strand and the ordering live strand. But these strands don't stand alone. The idea is that these strands continue to explore the three key questions that have been the basis of both introducing the social sciences A and this unit. And they are, how is society made and remade? How are differences and inequalities produced? And how do we, as social scientists, know? Now, last semester in the Making Live strand, we answered the question of how society is made and remade. So this semester, we'll be moving on to look in more detail at the second and third of these questions. How are differences and inequalities produced? And how do we, as social scientists, know? The first of these two questions, how are differences and inequalities produced, is focused more on divisions within society itself. The rich and poor, differences of race, gender and ethnicity. But we're not just looking at them as a series of categories. We're actually thinking about them in the context of society as a whole and how those differences can turn into divisions. The second question, how do social scientists know, is a different kind of question to those that we have explored in both introducing the social sciences A and in the first question of this unit. It's more about the skills involved at the process of social science inquiry itself. And the focus there is really about critical engagement, how you build up an argument in the social sciences. It's also about the nature of evidence you need to support a claim, either qualitative or quantitative. And these are the type of skills that we're hoping that you will pick up as you work, work your way through the unit. There is a whole range of study resources which you can use on this unit. First of all, you have a textbook that is available to you on the VIEWS website. This can be located in the Reading and Resources tab. Each week, you are required to read a chapter from the textbook that relates to the weekly topic. This should be nothing new, as you all undertook these very same tasks in introducing the Social Sciences A. This textbook has been custom designed by the Open University UK to explore the weekly topics that this unit engages with. These textbooks are being made available to all students uh, taking Introducing the Social Sciences completely free for you to download right here on the VIEWS website. Teaming up with the Open University has also allowed us to utilise the expertise of a group who have specialised in online and distance learning for decades. Throughout this unit you will find many uh, of the interactive features Videos, audio recordings and special interviews have been specially designed and produced by the Open University to really help you understand key concepts and tasks. We have also produced a variety of video materials, audio discussions and a range of online activities and quizzes that will hopefully help you come to terms with the key, key themes we discuss each week. For this unit, we have created an e-workbook that will help structure your weekly learning and also provide a really valuable resource for you to reflect upon your learning as you progress through the unit. This should be nothing new as you all undertook this act these activities during introducing the Social Sciences A. 
As you will see as you go through the weekly views pages, you'll be di directed to different types of activities that include e-workbook e activities, quizzes and views activities. We have made a real effort to make sure that you all feel as supported as you can in this unit. At the end of the day, it is our goal to make sure that you all go on and have successful careers as social scientists. Each week, you will all be required to log on to an online collaborative session with your learning facilitator. Your learning facilitator is your first point of contact for this unit and is there not only to facilitate your learning, but also to help you if you have any issues. This semester, we've changed the technology that we're using for these online collaborative sessions. Instead of using the Collaborate program that many of you will be familiar with, we've changed to a much more interactive technology uh, called Zoom. Now, I've provided you with a link to Zoom uh, within the learning guide, so please make sure um, that you download that program uh, before uh, the, the first online collaborative session. We have also set up discussion boards which will be regularly monitored to help you deal with any issues that you may have as you progress through this unit. Last semester the discussion boards weren't used particularly well and so I'd really like to encourage you uh, all to use these spaces because they're a fantastic way to enhance your learning. Don't be afraid of posting questions or comments to the discussion board. In my experience, students are often thinking the very same thing uh, and really appreciate the help um, when, you, when you flag any issues on the discussion board. As was the case with introducing the Social Sciences A, the assessment structure of this unit consists of three TMAs. It is really important that you read through the Learning Guide and Assessment Guidance Handbook which break down each of the TMAs and provide helpful tips on how to successfully complete each assignment. As you will have seen if you have already looked at the Learning Guide, the assignments for this unit are due at the end of weeks 6, 13 and 15. Because of this, the planning of your time and preparation, particularly for the last two assignments, will be crucial to your success. As was the case in introducing the Social Sciences A, each TMA gets progressively more difficult as you progress through the semester. Now this is not meant to scare you, but I do want to flag it to make sure that you are putting in enough time in the planning of your studies. Always remember that we are here to help and can be contacted at any time via email, phone, Zoom or the discussion forums. So before you go on and get familiar with the VIEWS website, I have a couple of pieces of advice uh, for you as you go through the unit. Firstly, it's really important that you pace yourself. Don't rush the weekly activities. Where possible, I recommend that you try and follow the timeline that we have mapped out in the learning guide. Secondly, try and enjoy yourself, even when the going gets tough. Try and keep the end goal in sight, which is you walking across the stage at your graduation ceremony. Remember, that, again, that we are here to help. So if you are struggling with anything throughout the semester, please get in contact with us so we can try and help you out. At the end of the day, it is my job to help you navigate the unit and be successful in your studies. So please don't feel like you cannot contact me to chat about any issues that you may have. Okay, I'll leave it there for now. I hope this welcome video has been helpful and that you all have a fantastic semester ahead.